What we've done so far is shuffle in an entire table. Next, I'm going to show you how to apply this to create your own randomizer. In our case, we're going to randomly select a card. I created a new button. I'm going to give it some descriptive text. This one's going to be called draw one, as in draw one card. In the on select property, I'm going to tell Power Apps what it's going to do. In this case, I'm pasting in the same formula as the previous button, but this time I'm going to have it select first. This means it's going to shuffle the table and select the first one in the shuffle. If I clear and click draw one, I should expect to see only one record. So it worked. Let me click draw one a few more times. I check the result. I have four total cards. Now this can be problematic if I continue because it's going to select a duplicate card. So the next step is to remove the duplicates. But the formula is going to be more complicated, so I need to space everything out to show you what's going on. I use Shift Return to space it. Then I can press Control Right Bracket to indent. It is best to view each function on its own line, so I'll use Shift Return again. Shuffle will have its own line, and its ending parenthesis will as well, and card will be its own line. The formula has the same meaning. Shuffle the cards, select the first one, and put it into cards played. To solve for duplicates, we'll use the filter function. It lets us show what we want and hide what we don't want. I'm going to use the ID column that we described in the previous video. If the ID number of a card is already inside the collection, the ID column of the collection, it will show up. Except that's the opposite of what we want. So I'm going to wrap this uh, condition in parentheses, and I'm going to write not, which means the opposite. Filter the cards where the ID number of a card is not inside the ID column of the cards played collection. I could change not to an exclamation point, which means the exact same thing. And my function is ready. So what's going on here? You have a deck of cards, your table, and each time that you click that button, you select a card. Each card has an identification number. When you filter, you do not allow those ID numbers that have been done. Eventually, all cards are in play, so there are no identification numbers that haven't been used. Let's test it out. I will clear the collection. I'll click draw one a few times, and I should expect to see no duplicates. So random cards have been drawn. Now, to really test things out, I'll use a text box. This label is going to have a count of all the rows. So count rows can be used to count up everything inside a collection or a table. Right now, we have 10 items inside this collection. I'm going to continue to click until I can't click anymore. You'll see that I'm adding more records to the collection. I'm continuing to click, but there's nothing coming out. That's because the filter prevents us from clicking more. So it's working. Now that you've seen how a deck of cards can be randomized using a button, a collection, and a filter, how can you use this in your own app? Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to find the next step in creating your own solitaire app.